Hi everyone! In this video, I want to review the best practices when you want to change the primary conversion action in your account. For example, let's say currently you are using uh, you are bidding toward target CPA and now you want to change your conversion action or bidding strategy toward targets uh, targets ROAS. There are some best practices that you better be aware of in order to mitigate fluctuations and disruptions to a smart bidding. The decision theory that we are going to review in this video looks like this. On the left side, uh, we are reviewing whether currently you are using target CPA and you want to move toward target ROAS. In that case, there are two scenarios, whether your conversion event is not changing or changing. If the conversion event is not changing, uh, an example of that scenario would be using tar you are currently using target CPA to be to online signups. Now you want to track values with those signups and use target ROAS to optimize bids. Or the conversion event is changing. An example would be currently you are using target CPA to be to online form submissions. Now you want to track online subscriptions with values and use target ROAS to optimize bids. Then uh, you need to see whether you want to change the goal at the account level or roll out the new conversion action across the campaigns. And after that you can make a, a, with a, either account level suite or roll out across campaigns. On the right, so right side of the decision tree, we will review scenarios when you are already tar uh, you are already bidding toward target ROAS and you want to change your conversion action. There are two scenarios. The conversion event is not changing. An example would be you are currently using target ROAS to bid to online form submissions with value. Now you want to bid to online signups with value, but conversion rate and conversion vol volume are very similar. Another scenario would be you, you are going to change your conversion event. An example would be you are using target ROAS to bid to form submissions with values. Now, you want to track and bid to online subscription with values and you expect a change in conversion rates or conversion value. Again, uh, you need to make a decision whether you change the goal at the account level or roll out the new conversion action across the campaigns uh, gradually. And then you will make uh, account level switch or roll out across campaigns. We are going to review all these scenarios together. The first scenario would be moving from target CPA to target ROAS and the conversion action is not changing. Scenario, you are currently using target CPA and you want to move to target ROAS optimizing for the same primary conversion action. For the first step, begin processing conversion values for the existing conversion action in the conversion column. Just pass the conversion value data in your existing primary conversion action. Continue to use target CPA as normal for 4 weeks or 3 conversion cycles, whichever is longer. By conversion cycle, I mean the amount of time that takes uh, a click for a click to turn into a conversion. Uh, also, you need to consider the delay in uploading data to your uh, report, uploading conversion report if you are uploading data manually. This step uh, will allow the bid strategy to build conversion value data without impacting the current performance. The target CPA that you are using does not utilize 
the new data in the conversion value column yet. It will just populate data to get uh, historical data before your switch. In the uh, second step, now make sure the values are being passed across all campaigns that share conversion tracking, uh, whether at account or MCC level. Even if, even if only planning to test a few campaigns on target ROAS. This will ensure that the bidding system trains optimally across all campaigns that share conversion tracking. Step 3. Now that you have passed conversion values and you made sure that the values are being passed correctly, it's time for you to switch to target ROAS bidding strategy or maximize conversion value. When switching to target ROAS, use the data for the previous four weeks of uh, four weeks of historical ROAS or previous three conversion cycles, whichever is longer, to de decide on your target ROAS uh, T ROAS target. After the switch, uh, the target to switch to target ROAS bidding strategy. You should expect a learning phase for two weeks or three conversion cycles as a smart bidding adjusts to the new targets. During that period, uh, you can use target and budget adjustments as needed to minimize performance fluctuations uh, during learning phase. Smart bidding will improve over time, so when evaluating performance, ignore the warm-up phase. This is how the workflow looks like. For the for four weeks, for the in, uh, initial four weeks, just pass value, pass conversion val, uh, value data. After that, you can switch the bid strategy from target CPA to target ROAS. Then, uh, after the switch of the uh, bid strategy, you should expect two weeks of learning phase. You should ignore that period in your performance evaluation, and that, after that, you will be ready to evaluate f evaluate performance. You will be in the evaluation phase. Next scenario, again, uh, moving from TCPA to TROAS, but this time the conversion action is changing. The scenario would be you are currently using target CPA, TCPA bidding strategy. You want to move to TROAS, optimizing for a new primary conversion action with account level switch. If you remember in the previous uh, scenario, we didn't change uh, conversion action. Conversion action stayed the same, but now you are in a situation that you want uh, to change to target ROAS with a new primary conversion action. So you will have two change. One, the change in your primary conversion action and one, the change in your bidding strategy. In step one, just create the new conversion action at the account or MCC level. Then, for now, do not yet add, uh, do not add the conversion action, the new conversion action as primary or do not set it as account default level goal yet. Why? Because this will allow you to make sure that the new conversion action is set up properly and will give you an idea of new conversion volumes without impacting the bid strategy, the target CPA that you are currently using. After you make sure, uh, make sure, make sure that the data are correct, uh, when you are ready to swap primary actions, change the conversion action to primary and account default. This is the time to change your conversion action. If the new conversion action uh, and the old conversion action are under the same category, set the new action as primary and the old action as secondary. If they are under a different category, add the new one as primary, make it a, an account level default, 
and remove the old goal as account level default. In the step 4, still keep bidding toward target CPA for a minimum of 4 weeks or 3 conversion cycles, whichever is longer. Still bid toward target CPA. Do not switch to target row as yet. Now, during this period, closely monitored performance. The adjustment uh, period will depend on the difference in conversion rate and conversion volume between the old and new conversion action. You can mitigate performance fluctuations by adjusting target CPA, TCPA gradually toward the new target. Now, once uh, the four weeks or three conversion cycles are complete, it's time to shift bidding from TCPA to T row S. When switching to target row S, you can use the previous four weeks historical data to determine your target row S. In the last step, after you change, uh, you change your conversion action and change your bid strategy from TCPA to TROAS, you should again expect a learning phase for two weeks or three conversion cycles as a smart bidding adjusts to the new target. A smart bidding will improve over time, so ignore the warm-up phase. By warm-up phase, I mean the learning period when evaluating performance. This is how the workflow looks like. First, you create the new conversion action. Then, you switch the new conversion action to primary. Then, you will still uh, keep bidding toward target CPA in the warm-up period to, for 4 weeks to just populate data for the new conversion action. And then, it's time for you to switch bid strategy from TCPA to TROS. Then you should expect two weeks of learning phase and then you will be in the evaluation phase. You can start evaluating and analyzing your data. The next scenario is similar. Uh, you are currently using target CPA. You want to move to our target ROAS, optimize for a new primary uh, conversion action but this time at campaign level, not account level. You are making campaign level switch. Uh, you are not going to change all your account, the primary conversion uh, action in your all your accounts. You want to go campaign by campaign. The prices would be very similar to the previous one. Uh, first, create the new conversion action at the account or MCC level. For now, do not add the conversion action as primary. Uh, this will allow you to ensure to make sure the new conversion action is set up properly and will give you an idea of new conversion volumes without impacting the current bid strategy of TCPA. Once you are ready to swap primary actions, change the conversion action to primary in select campaigns, the campaigns that you want, not the account level. After this, enable campaign level co conversion setting on selected campaigns to optimize to the new goal. Again, still keep bidding toward TCPA for a minimum of 4 weeks or 3 conversion cycles, whichever is longer. Closely monitor performance during this time. Uh, try to mitigate performance fluctuations by adjusting TCPA targets gradually toward the new target. Once the four weeks or three conversion cycles are complete, you can shift your bidding from TCPA to T row S. Use the previous four weeks of historical row S to determine your target row S, T row S target. Then you can move over the campaigns in batches, starting with lower tier campaigns. By lower tier, I mean in terms of conversion volume, the ones that have 
lower conversion volume and gradually scale up to higher volume campaigns over time. Next step, after you move all your campaigns, if you, move all, if you want to move all your campaigns, you can change the conversion action uh, to account default, the new conversion action to account default and slowly move from campaign level to account level bidding. Moving from campaign to account level may cause performance fluctuations, so be aware of that. After changing your uh, primary conversion action uh, at the account level, you should expect learning phase for two weeks and three conversion or three conversion cycles as smart bidding adjusts to the new target. The smart bidding will improve over time, so ignore the warm-up phase when evaluating performance. This is how the workflow looks like. You create the new conversion action then you switch it to primary at uh, account at campaign level you uh, are in warm-up period still bidding toward target cpa for four weeks in order to populate data for the new primary uh, new conversion action and after the data gets populate, populated so you have some historical data it's time for you to switch the bid strategy from tcpa to tros and you should expect two weeks of learning phase, two weeks or three conversion cycles, and then you will be in evaluation phase. Next scenario, now we are already on target ROAS, staying in T ROAS and the conversion action is changing. Scenario would be you are currently using TCP T ROAS and you want to stay in TROS, optimizing for a new primary conversion action with the account level switch. So the only ch thing that changed here is primary conversion action. You are already on target ROAS, but now your conversion action is going to change um, and you are still on target ROAS. First, create the new conversion action uh, at the account or MCC level. Second, for now, do not add the new conversion action as primary or do not set it as account level goal yet. Why? This will allow you to make sure new conversion action is set up properly and will give you an idea of new conversion volumes without impacting your current bid strategy of TROS. Step 3 is time for account wide switch. Once ready to swap primary actions after you made sure that the values passed back to the account are correct, change the conversion action, new conversion action to primary and account default. If the new conversion action is under the same category as old conversion, set the new action as primary and the old action as secondary. If under a different category, Add the new one as primary, make an account level default and remove the old goal as account level default. Now in the last step, continue bidding toward target ROAS. After you make a switch in your primary conversion action, you should expect learning for two weeks or three conversion cycle as a smart bidding adjusts to the new targets. Performance fluctuations can be mitigated through adjusting target uh, row, uh, tar adjusting targets gradually toward new target. A smart bidding will improve over time, so ignore the warm-up phase when evaluating performance. And also, uh, one thing, uh, one more thing to consider is if you see a significant change in conversion values uh, or conversion rate between the new or and old primary actions, it would be recommended to make larger target adjustments. This is how the workflow looks like. You create the new conversion action 
then this you switch the new conversion action to primary you continue to bidding toward target ROAS you should expect two weeks or three conversion cycles of learning phase and then you can start evaluating performance next one would be similar you staying on T ROAS and the conversion action is changing Scenario would be you are currently using TROS, you want to stay in TROS, optimizing for a new primary conversion action with campaign level switch. You don't want to uh, switch the primary conversion action in the account level at the account level suddenly. You want to go campaign by campaign gradually. In step one, create the new conversion action at the account or MCC level then again do not add the conversion action the new conversion action as primary or uh, do not set it as account default goal yet why this will make uh, this will allow you to make sure that the new conversion action is set up properly and will give you an idea of new conversion volumes without impacting TROS step 3 once you are ready to swap primary actions after you made sure that the values pass back uh, to the account correctly it's time to change the conversion action to primary in the select campaigns after this enable campaign level conversion setting on selected campaigns to optimize to the new goal step four now keep bidding toward target ROAS, continue bidding toward target ROAS, closely monitor performance during this time. Performance fluctuations can be mitigated through adjusting targets gradually toward the new target and keeping the budgets open. Larger target adjustments are recommended when conversion rate or conversion value per click are changing significantly between the old and new conversion action. Step 5. Repeat step 3. Step 3 was changing primary conversion action in the selected campaigns. So repeat doing that by moving the campaigns in batches until you are move uh, until all your campaigns are moved over to the new conversion action. Start with lower tier campaigns in terms of conversion volume and scale up to higher volume campaigns over time. After moving over all campaigns, change the conversion action to the account level, account default, and slowly move from campaign level bidding to account level bidding last expect learning phase for two weeks or three conversion cycles as a smart bidding adjusts to the new targets when you change the, con the primary conversion action in your select campaigns you should expect about two weeks of a learning period a smart bidding will improve over time so ignore the warm-up phase ignore the learning period phase when evaluating performance this is how the workflow looks like first you create new conversion action then you switch uh, conversion action at campaign level to primary you continue use bidding toward zero as uh, you should expect two weeks or three conversion cycles of learning phase and then you will you can start evaluate evaluating performance Now uh, let's review some best practices for change making change in your conversion action and switching from TCPA to TROAS First Try to reduce the amount of manual changes to the campaign during the bidding transition. When you make a change to your uh, conversion action or to your bidding strategy, try to not make too many changes. Make as few as possible to manual changes to the campaign. 
some example of changes that uh, are okay you can for example add negative brand protection negative keywords to the campaign that would be okay uh, that's not a big deal but during the bidding transition try not to make a bidding or budget or keyword adjustments wait for the learning phase to finish and then make your changes any change uh, any significant change can just uh, prolong your uh, learning f uh, learning period the learning period will continue longer uh, which is not ideal second uh, in terms of budget as a best practice if you are using a row as target a t row as on cap budgets to drive incremental value at your target in simple word what this means is that uh, try not to uh, be uh, limited by budget your campaign should not be limited by budget if you are using a row as target another one is terms of targets when you are switching to t row as uh, use the recommended row as uh, recommended row as target by google ads at the time of opt-in or use the historical performance last four weeks of uh, the data in your conversion value divided into cost column data uploads if you are using offline conversion import imports to upload data conversion value to to the account uploads should be consistent ideally daily only apply data exclusion if you are missing uploads or some uploads are incomplete and later if you backfill that data you don't need to you don't need to remove the data exclusion you can let it uh, stay there conversion adjustment use conversion adjustments when necessary to restate or retract values patience expect learning expected learning depends on conversion delays and conversion volume on average advertisers see performance stabilized within three complete conversion cycles performance evaluation as we discussed a lot during this uh, video when you evaluate performance ignore the initial learning phase ignore the learning period as the bidder stabilizes to the new targets and last one uh, if uh, whether to decide to go with uh, account level switch or campaign level generally account level switch uh, for conversion actions for changing primary conversion action is best practice because it's a simplified workflow but more sensitive advertisers who are interested in transitioning transitioning their campaigns gradually can follow the campaign level workflow sometimes it would be poss it possible that you don't want to change the primary conversion action to uh, in all your campaigns maybe you have just one or two campaign that you want to be toward the new uh, conversion action this was the best practices that we reviewed for changing conversion actions uh, and switch from tcpa to true as all the best practices presented in this video were uh, based based on the google guidelines official google guidelines uh again i emphasize that this is a really important topic because any change in bidding strategy and any change in primary conversion action in the account or campaign uh, can disrupt a smart bidding can cause fluctuation in performance especially for big accounts this is very important so it's really important to follow some best practices when switching to tar, uh, switch the primary conversion action i hope you found this video useful if you have any questions please let me know in comments thank you